Hello. Hello. Okay, let's get right to it. Uh, first, we got a couple of announcements. Announcements, announcements. We have reached uh, three referrals. Yay! So we'll be able to give away the Rick Nat wheels. So whenever we get three deliveries and I get contacted by Tesla, anyone who's anyone who's taking delivery of um of a Tesla and use the referral will be in the drawing to win the Eric Nad wheels. Yep. Yeah, buddy. So what's going on for Electric Week? Oh, we're gonna be at the Audubon Zoom in New Orleans for Electric Week. That'll be September 10th. I'm more excited about the zoo. If she likes zoos, I like cars and electric stuff. So we'll both have something to do. Yes. Uh, I think they're gonna be doing like test drives and ride alongs and people are just talking about electric cars. Cool. And I'm in. I'm so in. You in? You in it to win it? Yep. In it to win it. Okay, so um, the the, um, the Model Three is out. We got all the information. Well, not all the information, but we got a good bit of the information, and we've had time to digest it. Yes. And, <laughs> and some people are wondering if they made the right decision by ordering a Model S. And you, you've asked me, do, do I regret canceling my Model 3 reservation? Should I have kept it? Should I have tried to do two cars? You don't want a Model 3? No. You're not going to be able to pull that one. If her car would have kept having issues, we probably could have got her in the Model 3. No. Hmm? No. No? Okay. I'm spoiled. Yeah, but I don't... Uh, I don't feel like I have any regrets. I'm very happy with the the car I'm have, I have right now. Me and Storm are in a committed relationship. <laughs> Storm better watch her back. <laughs> That's me putting my eyes on Storm. <laughs> because it's a car. It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a couple of reasons why I don't have any regrets. Um, one of the things is the tax credits. Um, that made a big difference for me because with the Model S, I definitely got $7,500 of federal. And because I got mine last year, I got $8,000. It was about $8,000 from the state. And they just cut that to $1,500. Yeah, I feel like if they're giving free money away, you shouldn't want to... Um not take it um another thing is um she will tell you i'm the type of person that can go to lowe's and just walk around and kind of leave out with with large stuff like we've we put a treadmill in this car we put tvs in this car we put if, if i wanted to get lumber or something i just want to put the seats down just put a towel of course i put a towel down um, of course <laughs> I mean, I'm not an animal. <laughs> yeah. If I wanted to do that, I can do that in this car. And the the Model 3 seats, they fold, but that trunk is is not going to... It, it doesn't have the utility that I would need. Just knowing myself and knowing how I like to throw stuff in the trunk. In the, the trunk area. I love how high the uh, lift gate on the Model S opens. Hmm how big the opening is <laughs> yeah the treadmill the treadmill did you ever show them pictures of me in that I'm going to okay <laughs> just before he puts this picture in there look at just examine the regret of me going all over my face. Yeah, it's a full size treadmill, and the people at the Academy, they told us it wasn't going to fit, and I told them it was going to fit, and I won. 
Vindication. Vindication. I Jubilation. I was I was not excited. Now it was a tight fit. At all. <laughs> it was a very tight fit on the way home. I couldn't drive. One of the rare attempt times I, I, I allow her to to drive. Yeah, I get I I'm allowed to drive when it's damn near dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's painful to drive. <laughs> it's painful. I have to have my T Rex arms. Yeah, the, um, the Model S, I, I I got the storage space that I want, and and uh, I don't think that um I don't <laughs> I don't think that um that um that treadmill would have fit um in a Model Three. It would have been a couple inches short. Hmm. Barely didn't make it. But you never know. I might have tried to pull some straps out or something. Uh, I'm not really. I'm not all that comfortable with that though. I think stuff gonna fly out the back. When we was riding one day, somebody's boat came off the back of their truck. Hmm. Learn how to hook those things up correctly. But for the, I guess for the people who are waiting for the Model 3, um, the differences on the inside are, are not that much. Though. The Model 3 has a little more headroom in the back. But as far as like leg room and um, I think headroom in the front and hip room, it's pretty much the same across the board. Um, I think, yeah, the Model S had more hip room in, I think, the front and the back. But I, th I think the car has plenty of hip room. And I'm not really a small person. So. I got a lot of I hips. Can, I can. I, I have hip room to spare. I got hip room to give away. I think the. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. I need all my hip room. Uh, the battery warranty that's um a huge thing that uh, makes me really happy about my purchase eight years unlimited miles as opposed to eight years a hundred thousand miles I, I just like unlimited especially doing uber because i can go over a hundred thousand miles in maybe three and a half years uh probably so i think i can do the rate you're going i can do a hundred thousand miles in three and a half years and that added to the the fact that we're just driving around extra, like right now. Yeah, who drives around at this time with this type of traffic? There's a naked guy over there, and he's running across the street. What? And his pants is falling down. I don't think he's really naked. I consider him naked. Yeah, all right. His pants were falling down. Um, if you're waiting on the Model 3, um, I think for now, as opposed to what I got, I think the Model 3 is going to be more ready for full self-driving, which is, I don't know how much that actually means, because I don't know how far full self-driving is away, because it has the, um, the, the, um, the camera inside the car that faces this way. Cool. Which is cool, but it, it flirts with being creepy. Because I don't mind it. Who's watching that camera and how do you know when it's on? There's a guy sitting there with a bucket of chicken just watching the cameras. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I like the way you pick your nose. Go ahead and pick that nose. Mm. Don't smell it. Don't smell it. Ew, Ooh, he smelled, smelled it. it. Ew. He smelled it. <laughs> what grade are we in? Fifth. Mm. Yeah, but I, I do like the idea of having the camera on the inside if you're if you are comfortable this with... This was my brother. Hey, Stevie. Stevie's in the video. Um, yeah, if you are comfortable with letting the car go out and drive itself, you probably you probably want to have the camera inside the car so you know exactly which person damaged your car or if people are doing something you don't want them doing in your car or the person just, who lost their stomach in your car. Just so you have some proof. Who's losing their stomach in your car? That happens to Uber drivers it's quite a bit. It's a hundred and fifty dollar cleaning fee. For the, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Ain't nobody that lost their stomach up in here. Uh. <laughs> hey, you didn't. You didn't deny it. Oh no. no oh, oh. No, that's oh. like a. That's the. That's the night crew. They oh. have to deal with those. The the, the drunkards. Oh oh. I, I don't. I don't do that. They I, got daytime drunks. 
Yeah, yeah, Louisiana, we do have some daytime drunks. I have taken people to bars in the, in the middle of the day. In the middle of the week. Yeah, in the middle of the day, middle of the week. Yeah. Daytime yeah. Uh, one thing the um, the Model Three has is that I think the um, the, the way the air conditioning vents work is really cool, and I think that's eventually going to be coming to the Model S. You know how I feel about them vents. I think the way, I think it sounds crazy. But to see it work, I think it works really well. I like have just to see um, it. using your fingers and I ain't, moving I'm not the little dots it. around. I'm not down it. I'm just I would have to see it. I won't be able to put my little set things on my vents no more because I can't see them. Cause they're hidden. And obviously with the Model S, you get more performance. You get um, you get right now you get the standard power lift gate. You get the all glass roof. I think I think it's still a good value, especially knowing that you you will definitely get the seventy five hundred dollar tax credit. <laughs> Hitting the Yui. Oh yeah. Is this the one? Yup. They have Taco Tuesdays. <laughs> We're going to Casa Maria's. We're going to Casa Maria. With some Mexican Mexican food. Oh my goodness. There's not a lot of parking There's here. not a lot of parking here. Either Casa Maria is really full or uh, they just don't have no parking here. You gonna probably park all the way on the side, yeah? Mmm. You about to park next to this and it been look like it ran into a wall? Mm. Mm, there's space over here. I knew he wasn't. I knew he wasn't gonna do it. I knew he wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> There's a lot of space over here. Hmm. I knew he wasn't. They got space all back there. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Uh, I guess one thing I I wish I could have got that 310 miles of range. I think that'll be the um, a deciding factor for some people. Um. Uh, the model is starting at um i guess it'll be 260 miles now because they're going to be getting rid of, rid of the rear wheel drive and the all-wheel drive gets is a little more efficient yeah. so 260 for somebody that travels for the a base, lot yeah that's perfect for them for the base model is 260 and a fully loaded model 3 will get you 310 miles those and cars are parked so close together yeah, they must have came together or something. You ain't know me? Oh, um, <laughs> charging time on a supercharger look like it's about the same on a, the base Model S and a fully loaded Model 3. Oh, we skipped over something. Oh, Free supercharging. I just yawned. I'm sorry. Yeah, free supercharging. Wasn't that fun going to Orlando? We didn't have to worry about no prices. No payments. It's always fun. You don't have to pull out in cash or cards. I don't think they'll ever have to where you have to pull out a card. I think it'll just be on your account where you just do it from there. I wonder if there'll be like some type of. Because well, that'll just make it more complicated, more stuff that they'll that can break that they'll have to be checking on and. Somebody's gonna have a skimmer out there on the. Th mm -hmm. <laughs> like why even? I don't know if that's there? if that's popular in other areas Those where skimmers? people yeah people put that on like the gas thing, and they read your card. I don't know if that's popular everywhere else. Probably so. I doubt people are that technical in Baton Rouge with stuff like that. Probably started somewhere else. I apologize to anybody that lives in Baton Rouge right now. Because we, we are tech savvy. The base model is 69500 Fully loaded model 3 with um, rear wheel drive and enhanced autopilot. $56,500. Any regrets? Not for me. I don't have a car. You do have a car. I don't have one of these, so... Not yet. Yeah, I think um the possibility of losing the $7,500 federal tax credit because 
if I didn't get a Model S and I wouldn't be an owner to have any priority for the Model 3 and living in Louisiana, who knows how long it's going to take them to get the deliveries out that far without any type of priority. So it could have easily been the end of next year before I would have got the car. And I think the um, the 7500 will be at least cut in half by then. And then the state one, is, that one's already gone. Breaks my heart. So Free money. Those two things, those... Those two things right there bring the price basically the same. So I'm ba I base I'm basically getting a bigger car for same price. about the same price. Um, yeah, so it worked out really well for me. Um, Not for me. We gonna make it work out for you. How did it work out for you, though? Do you have any regrets for about me? your Model S? Are you still waiting on your Model 3? Are you playing the fence? Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I'm like, I just said I don't have one of these things. I'm looking at the camera. I'm trying to engage. I'm like, what do you people. not get? I drive a Kia Optima. <laughs> <laughs> You need to vent for a second? I was wondering, what, like, what is this problem? I don't have one of these cars. Stop asking me this question over and over again. I don't have any regrets because I don't have a car. I don't have one of these cars. Let it go. Let it go. Bye-bye.